Good day, our brothers and sisters. May your day be filled with warmth and love as the sun graces your heart. Each new dawn is embraced by the sacred grace and benevolence of Jesus Christ. May God shower you with blessings for a joyful morning and a day filled with His divine presence. Archbishop Bigano, a revered spiritual guide, has recently shared a compelling and timely caution with humanity concerning the approaching end of December. Based on his proclaimed divine revelation from our Lord, Archbishop Bigano asserts that the upcoming month holds a looming tribulation of considerable magnitude. This impending trial is expected to be so impactful that it may pose a potential disruption to individuals' access to certain churches. The seriousness of this alert implies that the challenges and perils associated with October go beyond the usual. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. A breath of prayer in the morning means a day of blessing sure, a breath of prayer in the evening means a night of rest secure. Before coming to the main part of this video, let's join us and pray together, O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven, promised to send the Holy Ghost to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Lord Jesus Christ, take all my freedom, my memory, my understanding, and my will. All that I have and cherish you have given me. I surrender it all to be guided by your will. Your grace and your love are wealth enough for me. Give me these, Lord Jesus, and I ask for nothing more. Amen. In this ominous prophecy, the reference to a bomb serves as a metaphorical or symbolic representation of a serious threat or danger that could unfold within these sacred spaces. Now, the message is being conveyed to all of you, my beloved people, those of my sacred heart, I bestow upon you blessings of faith, hope, and charity. You are currently immersed in a spiritual battle between good and evil, as well as a struggle for the salvation of your soul. It is crucial to be aware of the turbulent times in which you live and ensure that the spiritual transformation required during this period is acknowledged, as you play a role in both the history of humanity and redemption. Beloved children of our King, Lord Jesus Christ, as October commences, unusual events are occurring in certain parts of the world, and consequently, a significant event will unfold there. One fateful evening, the tranquility of the world will be shattered by a deafening explosion that will echo through the streets. The force of the blast will send shockwaves across the town, shaking windows and rattling the very foundations of the buildings. Panic and confusion will spread like wildfire as residents will rush into the streets, searching for the source of the devastation. As the dust settles, the once proud churches that have graced the skyline will lie in ruins. The vibrant stained glass windows, centuries-old architecture, and the essence of spirituality will be reduced to rubble. The explosion will not only destroy the physical structures but will also shatter the sense of security and peace that the churches have provided to the community. As December unfolds, Exercise caution and vigilance when attending the churches in Hawaii, America, and the UK. On an ordinary day that will soon be etched in memory, the world shall awaken to a sky bearing an ominous foreshadowing, a precursor to impending tribulation. It will be a morning draped in shades of grey, a canvas of clouds heavy with the foreboding of doom. The air will thicken with the anticipation of an event beyond human understanding. As the sun endeavors to pierce through the cloud cover, its feeble rays will wrestle against the shroud, struggling to illuminate the day. 
Birds will abandon their melodies, replaced by an unsettling silence, as if even nature pauses, holding its breath in expectation. People will go about their daily routines, an unspoken understanding lingering in the air, recognition that this day will be distinct, marked by an enigmatic wait. In the vibrant streets of cities and the serene lanes of villages, an unspoken agreement will prevail that this day is different, characterized by a mysterious gravity. The sky, once a symbol of limitless potential and infinite horizons, will morph into a cryptic tapestry. The clouds will twirl with purpose, assuming shapes reminiscent of ancient myths and apocalyptic visions. The wind will carry whispers of an impending reckoning, and the atmosphere will crackle with an unexplainable energy. My children require advice, direction, consideration, understanding, and introspection. Children, illness advances, and although the conflict may appear to have ended for a brief period, it will return with greater vigor. The medications that you were given by the father's house are being used for fun. When diseases emerge and there is no way to combat them, people lose their minds and start wandering the streets in quest of assistance. Keep calm and be courageous. Beloved our brothers and sisters, God shall watch over us, shielding you from harm and bestowing upon you the benevolent blessings of heaven, ensuring that you emerge from the trials of October with your faith and spirit unbroken. In unity and unwavering faith, we shall face whatever challenges may arise, for the light of divinity shall pierce through the darkness, guiding our path and sustaining our souls. Proverbs 18 verse 21, The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. This proverb encourages reflection on the responsibility that comes with the ability to communicate. It prompts individuals to be mindful of the impact their words can have on themselves and those around them. It calls for a recognition of the far-reaching consequences of speech and the importance of using language to promote understanding, encouragement, and love. Proverbs 18 verse 21 serves as a timeless reminder of the profound influence words wield in shaping our lives and the lives of others. It encourages a conscious and intentional approach to communication, recognizing that our choice of words can either contribute to the vitality of relationships and situations or lead to their decline. Now, let's join and pray together. O oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you all my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my associates, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.